Hi, I'm Leandro, co-owner of Maison Privé. Uh, I'm Oliver, co-owner of uh, Maison Privé. We created some kind of a new wave barbershop that nobody had that kind of concept in Montreal. So it's really a high-end luxury uh, barbershop, but really welcoming for any type of clientele. We started barbershop together because we were sharing the same idea. We were neighbor at that time. So we always meet at night and just like talking about the problems in the shop, you know, how things could work better, how could it be faster and more efficient. And at some point, we were just like, let's make it happen. We also suck at everything else, so <laughs> we, had, we had to open up a barbershop. <laughs> the best part of our job is to uh, basically be able to, to decide our own schedules and the satisfaction from our clients being like, oh my god, like I didn't know that a barbershop could do that. We go out, we see our clients in bars, and they're the first ones offering us drinks. You know, it's like a, it's a cool bond that we have with our clientele, so it feels great. I think it was important for us to get a .ca domain, just because everything was branded towards the fact that we were French Canadians. At first, the name is in French. So, so for us, when we were shopping around and thinking about the branding, we're like, the .ca sounded more like us, because we knew that eventually we wanted to have more than one barbershop. We want still people, to, like even though we start opening shops around like, the States or in Europe, we're still based out of Canada, so I think that .ca, .ca represented that. When we don't work, or what I really like is go, go play bowling. Yeah, we love bowling. <laughs> it's been, it's been one, of our, uh, yeah. one of our spots for post-meeting. Even when we're building the shop, you know, between Home Depot and Rona, trying to find things bowling for the shop, alley. we see a bowling alley, stop for a quick game. Yeah. Uh, the, he's good with the big balls, and I'm good with the small balls. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I would have one advice to give somebody to start a business, is to have a proper structure, make a nice plan, like a day-to-day plan, because if you put it as a pile, it might seem not achievable. Point, don't be scared to ask for help. A lot of people True. try to, like, because it's their idea, they want to go by themselves, and they're like, they, they feel like they, they're going to get their, their, uh, you know, their pride kind of stolen with somebody that's just an ego thing because honestly like you could just ask for help there's people that are better situated in life and have better skills than you at, at some point in your business you're going to need those skills so um, just give up a few shares man and get somebody in your business i think it's the best just start with a strong team